Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Channel, James and Joanna McConnell One Who Serves, OM, Mani, Padme, Hum, OM, Mani, Padme, Hum, Hum, Hum. Greetings to you. One Who Serves Here. Shoshana is here. We are ready to continue with this program of awakening, and now more and more there is going to be a focus on the magic, the magic of becoming fully who you are and realizing and understanding who another individual is. How they are one with you, and you are one with them. And there really is no disconnect. There really is no separation. The separation is only because of the old programming the programming that those of the forces of darkness have foistered upon you all. They want you to be separated. They want you to not understand your power. They want you to not realize that you have a magic within you, each and every one of you. And you can utilize that magic any time you are ready to do so. For it is there. It is there for you, right in front of you. The magic of nature, certainly. Mother Nature is indeed magical all the time. And when you recognize that magic in a flower, in a bush, in a plant, in a tree, in an animal, in the rocks and stones, when you recognize the magic that is there, then you recognize the magic also that is within you, and how you can begin to utilize the magic within you to create whatever you want in your life. That is the magic of creation. And you have all been a part of that magic of the creation this lifetime, and many lifetimes previously. And many of you have even utilized that magic to create worlds, to create new existences that did not exist previous to that. You have all been a part of creation. So understand that, as you continue to move through this ascension process, that you are the creator of magic within yourself. We are ready now for your questions if you have them. Guest, I have a question. OWS, yes? Guest, I read a post today from David Wilcock, and it's about the Nizara law, read this and ask why it can't be further enhanced. Because President Clinton's clone had no interest in signing Nizara into law on October 10, 2000, under orders from U.S. military general to release Navy SEALs and Delta Force flown to the White House and under gunpoint forced Bill Clinton to sign Nizera. During this time, Secret Service and White House security personnel were ordered to stand down, disarm, and allow to witness this event under a gag order. My question is, why can't those generals make everything move ahead faster so that everybody doesn't have to suffer and die waiting for who knows what? OWS, we will say two words here, frequency vibration. That frequency vibration was not at the right amount at that time, was not at the right frequency. Even though those that brought this into being, or attempted to bring this into being had that frequency within them, it was not the right frequency overall because those of the forces of darkness, that one of the president that was coming into the picture at that time, and you all know who that was, and the father of that one, did much to keep that event from being delivered to the public to make it a public announcement. And those, then, of those forces did everything they could to hold off the announcement of this particular act here. And, of course, you know of what occurred the next day, in terms of the 9 or 11, when that was introduced into the world and it precluded, or it kept from happening all that they wanted to occur at that time. And it is unfortunate you might look at it in that respect, but was it really? You see, it is all again about frequency vibration and consciousness. And consciousness across the planet was not there yet. But you are moving to the point where consciousness is becoming very close to having that announcement of Nizara, which has then also become Gisara and globally activated when the time or rather when the frequency vibration reaches the point where it can then be activated as a part of the great universal plan here. Shoshana, do you have anything to add here? Shoshana, Joanna's higher self, channeled by Joanna McConnell, we can add if this one wishes our perspective. Guest, any time, sure. Shoshana, dear brother, the element of time is difficult for many. 
and many think this is taking too long, this will never happen, this is not moving forward, why is this happening, why are we suffering? And this is all wrapped up in the element of time. This is a complicated issue. We will tell you that all is moving forward. All is happening under our noses. And soon you will see things so amazing that you will wonder why you ever thought it would not occur. It is moving forward quickly, you see. We will give you a hint about this. The great divide that is occurring upon your planet is raging. There is a great divide, and you know this, the great divide of dark and the divide of light. But we will tell you that there are many nations as we speak that are joining together to implement and engage in Nisera, Gesera. And we will tell you who these nations are. We will tell you to watch closely what you know as the BRIC nations are doing, as they are engaging in a movement forward for the Gisara plan to implement for all of their citizens. And this has been happening over time, over a few months now, and it is moving forward, and it is magnificent. The Western world is still much in the dark and is not engaging, but that will change. That will change, as the world will unite. So have faith and trust dear brother, that all is moving forward. And also, within the complicated issue that you are bringing up are all of the contracts, the soul contracts of the humans that are living out their lives that are so-called suffering. They are living out their contracts because that was their agreement, you see, and we cannot tread upon the agreement of another. We just must be unattached to it and allow for this to occur. But never doubt that your thousand years of peace, the Golden Age, is moments away. Namaste. OWS, very good. Would there be any other questions here? Guest, yes, please. OWS, yes. Guest, I have been prompted to ask for your support in regard to the issue with my cat being forced to be inside, and it's not healthy for them. I'm recognizing that part of this new adventure is with all the previous pressure with landlords that I have this fear of being ousted out without notice. So my stuff is found up in this, and I'm afraid to confront or to ask for what I need for my cat. I am very much aware because, as you may have noticed, that prior to my relocating to here in North Carolina that they had free range and free roam to go in and out as they pleased, not always, but most of the time. So my situation is how to handle this and do it in a way that is of benefit for all involved. And my main concern is now I'm filled with this fear, and it is really heavy. I'm feeling so fragile after all this stuff that has unfolded in the last 18 months around housing and such. So I am asking for your perspective, your support, whatever you have to offer to me please. OWS, what we can say to you, dear one is exactly what the topic of your discussion was earlier in this session, and that is to to with the flow. To allow for the process to play itself out. And not to feel, as you say, fear, or anything of this nature. For it will play out as it needs to here. And you have already, in a very much strong sense here, gone with the flow, in the sense that you have moved from one location to another and allowed for that process to take you there and it is important for you to continue to go with the flow throughout the next moments, days, weeks ahead here, and even the months ahead here. For it will be very important for you to be yourself, and allow for yourself to be who you are, and to go with the flow of the situation, and not fight it. Without getting too personal here, and we will not go into a personal direction here, other than to say do not fight against the flow, go with it. As if you were in a boat, and you were on a river, and you were letting the flow of the river take you to whatever destination was going to be there for you, rather than to fight against the flow of the river, you see? Shoshana, do you have anything to add? Shoshana, we have a perspective here, may we share, dear sister? Guest, yes. Shoshana, dear sister, perhaps you thought that if you moved, all the lessons would stop, and you would not have to deal with anything further. But that is the further thing from the truth, you see, because when we as humans move to another space, we take ourselves with us. 
and all that we still need to learn comes with us as well. You understand fully your issues. And it just so happens that the lessons that you need to conquer have come in the form of a cat. The cat, and its lack of freedom, have forced you again to face some of your own issues, you see. All is one. As was given, all is in the one, and one is in the all. Your cat represents you, and you represent your cat. For you must understand, that you must move forward no matter how you fear it, and resolve these issues. And believe that you are capable of resolving them, and that you will not be displaced as a result of resolving your own issues. Until you face that big challenge, and you have, you have faced it in the past, and it has come up again. So what we know about lessons, is they come in threes. You will learn it, it will show up again, you will face it, you will learn it, it shows up again, and that will be the final time that it shows up for your soul to gain the momentum and the strength to move forward in consciousness. This is all about you. It is not about your cat. It is all about you moving forward in consciousness and understanding your power as a human being, as a spirit, as an individual, as an individualized consciousness of God, to move forward as God. Namaste. OWS, very good. And we add here that the message that Shoshana has given is not only for this one who asked this, but for all, all, to go with the flow through this process. We are ready for another question, if there is one. Guest, yes. OWS, yes. Guest, this week the whole question of flat earth came up. And, of course, we all learned the earth is round, and then they have pretty compelling arguments of the earth being flat. And it came to me this week, and I wonder if you can check in on it, maybe it's not that they have been lying to us all these years but maybe now that the earth is actually transforming itself into the new earth which is of crystalline nature, or what not, maybe it shows up some other way that looks flat to the people that are analyzing it. So I was wondering if you would check in on this, is it that the earth always was flat, or is it that now that it's changing, it's showing up some other way? OWS, we would say to you in this respect that it is important to feel within yourself what resonates for you. Whether it is flat, whether it is round really does not matter at this point, other than what you feel within yourself. This goes for everything, not only for this particular question, but all questions that come to you. Take them within yourself, not within your brain, not within your mind only, but within the heart-mind connection. And feel or know that intuition, or know that whisper within yourself to know the truth of whatever it is that you are facing here as the question comes to you, you see? Shoshana? Shoshana, yes, we have a perspective here. May we share, dear sister? Guest, yes, please. Shoshana, dear sister, this is a complicated issue, is it not? And it is a strange issue and it is hard to understand what is going on here. So we will tell you that the presentation, the image of the earth, the planet, the round ball, is a third dimensional image that has been given hypnotically to the people of earth to give them a story rather than the truth, you see. But we will tell you is that the planet and the planets are all multidimensional beings, and the earth at a higher dimensional level is layered. There are layer, upon layer, upon layer, upon layer of dimensionality in life. Now, the perspective of the third dimension of a round ball hurling through space is a story. It is not the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So what one who serves has given is that you must find in your heart and understanding, and keep looking, keep exploring, just as you have learned the truth over decades of understanding and looking and exploring and coming to different conclusions. You will come to that as well. But once again, the idea of life, the idea of dimensionality, the idea of multidimensionality is not contained in the 3D image of an orb. Namaste. OWS, 
and we would add here it is very similar in terms of as Shoshana is speaking Abu the programming that has occurred over thousands and even millions of years here is very similar to what occurred on your September of your 9 or 11 experience, where those of the people at the time, and all of you, were involved in this as well, you saw over and over and over on your television broadcast the planes hitting the cows, the planes hitting the towers, and the resultant explosions, and all of this. But in reality, there were no planes that ever hit the towers. It was just simply programming that hypnotized the people into believing that over and over and over, tell a big enough lie, and everyone will begin to believe it over a period of time. That is all. So would there be any other questions here before we release channel? Guest, one who serves? Hi. OWS, yes. We will take one more question. Guest, I don't have a question, I just want to tell Saint Germain that I was thrilled beyond words when I heard you were put in charge. I feel like I can finally relax. And to Ashta and to the Ashta Command, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your bravery, and for your love for us, and I send you my love and my light. And I pray for Source's pure white light of protection to surround you and you fulfill your mission. And I thank you. And I just proclaim victory for the light. OWS, yes, very good. Victory of the light. That is a saying that is becoming more and more prominent across the planet, and will be so more and more as well. Then we are ready to conclude here. Shoshana, do you have parting message? Shoshana, all is well. That is our message. OWS, all is well. And we simply reiterate, go with the flow, and allow the magic to take hold here more and more. Shanti. Peace be with you. Be the one.